with coverage you can count on. News Channel 8's Good Morning Connecticut continues. We'll be talking about preventing heart disease coming up next here on Good Morning Connecticut. We'll talk to the only doctor in Connecticut using a device to catch heart disease in its early stages. In health news this morning at 737, startling statistics on heart disease. According to the CDC, it is the leading cause of death in the U.S., and it claims more lives than the next five causes of death combined, including cancer. Ten times more women die of heart disease than breast cancer every year. Now, early diagnosis is the key, but standard cholesterol tests may not be enough. One Connecticut doctor is using a new device that could help prevent heart attacks. Joining us this morning, Dr. Desmond Ebanks, founder and medical director of Alternative Healthcare. Do I have that pronunciation Yes, right? you do. Nice to have you here this morning. And I got to tell you, you, the statistics that I was reading uh, to prepare for this, astounding. Let me give you a couple more. 80 million American adults have some form of cardiovascular disease. For many people, the first sign of that heart disease is a heart attack. And at that point, one in four die That's from correct. it. These are astonishing numbers. Uh, yes, they are. And it's uh, even more astonishing uh, no noting that over the last 25 years, there's really been a push to reduce heart disease mm -hmm. and other degenerative diseases like obesity and type 2 diabetes. And in that same time, we've had an explosion in all three of them. Because they're all tied together. They're all tied together. And we now know that uh, the underlying cause of many of these is chronic inflammation. Mm -hmm. That is not necessarily addressed when you're only looking at cholesterol. Certainly, the headlines seem to come uh, faster and more furiously over the last couple of years. Yes. Is the preventative measure getting better? Uh, well, in, in large part it is getting better, but uh, we have to get the information out there a little more broadly that cholesterol alone, while it is a factor, is not sufficient. People, many, think, people think you're lowering cholesterol, you're, you're good to go, and that's not the case. No, because about 60% of the people who have a heart attack mm -hmm. have normal cholesterol profile. And s information out of the landmark Framingham study showed that if you look at people who've had heart events and people who do not, about 80% of the time their cholesterol level is the same. We're going to give you a couple of tips in just a minute, some basic tips. But you are, again, the, the, the first doctor using this kind of te new technology, which we have sitting right behind you. We want to get a shot of this. Uh, this is impressive. What are we looking at here? Uh, well, this is called the Heart Smart IMT, and IMT stands for intermediate thickness. So mm -hmm. this machine actually uh, measures the thickness of the wall of your carotid artery. And we mm -hmm. use the carotid artery because it's an accessible artery. And it's non-invasive. It's non-invasive. It is painless. It takes about 15 minutes in the doctor's office, and it provides very significant information. Right. Mm -hmm. for, for example, not most importantly, if you are at least walking down that wrong road uh, leading towards heart disease. Uh, absolutely. And in fact, it has uh, been endorsed by the American College of Cardiology, mm -hmm. the American Heart Association, and the American Society of Echocardiographers mm -hmm. as one of the best non-invasive tests to predict early heart disease. I know this is obviously not created overnight, but it, in, in the process, in the trials, what was, was there anything uh, astounding, anything alarming that we didn't know before this equipment came along? Oh, sure. We know that um, the thing that causes the acute event mm -hmm. is soft plaque. You mm -hmm. have hard calcified plaque that over a lifetime right. can cause you problems. But sure. the acute event is the inflammation and rupture of this soft plaque. This technology can distinguish between the two types really? of plaque. And of course, uh, as we mentioned, just a couple of tips as we, as we wrap it up here. Living a healthy lifestyle, getting enough sleep, which if you're on our morning shift, you know, that, that's not an option. Regular aerobic stretching exercise and of course a diet that is low in saturated fats and Absolutely. incorporating more fruits and vegetables. Put it all together. You're not going to be one of those uh, of many, 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 too many, many. people who uh, uh, have heart disease and find out about it way too late. For more information on uh, the doctor's good work, uh, you can uh, log on to our website, WTNH.com. Click on the Good Morning Connecticut uh, weekend section. We'll hook you up with that. Doctor, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Continue thank success you. over there. A timeout for us. And when we come back, we'll do the forecast. Also, get your Twittering ready, Facebook and Twitter comments.